Peace family, welcome back to our credit healing channel. So today we want to discuss a topic that we think that you should know. And the reason why is because if you own a credit card, as well as if you do not own any credit cards, but you do plan on owning credit cards in the future, you should know how your credit card works. It's kind of like, you know, a car, right? You don't necessarily have to know everything about the car, but you have to know a few basic things about the, that, that particular car. So if you're gonna be utilizing a credit card, you're gonna have a minimum balance or minimum payment due at the end of every month. But you have to know how these particular minimum payments are calculated so you don't have any late payments that are gonna appear on your credit report. So today's topic is, how are your minimum payments for your particular credit card calculated? So we're going to, number one, a flat percentage of your balance. What is this? So let's say for instance, if you have, as we said earlier, that you have a $5,000 credit card, well, known as $5,000 credit card, you have a $1,000 balance on it. So what some banks would do, and typically is 2%. So instead of charging you for interest rates, fees, um, and the principal, what they'll do is that they'll just have a 2% flat rate for your total balance that will be applied to your total balance, and this would be your minimum payment. Therefore, if you have a $1,000 balance on your credit card, then at 2%, you only owe 20% minimum payment for that particular month. Now, you should pay more so you don't have to pay the, the additional interest, um, but your minimum payment for this type of method is only 2%, which will be then a flat rate. Number two, percentage plus interest and fees. So what is this? So say for instance, as we mentioned earlier, you have a $1,000 balance on your $5,000 credit card. And so what banks would typically do in this particular case is they will have a 1% flat rate plus any interest that, had, that you have accrued on your particular credit card and they will basically allow that to be your minimum balance <clears throat> so if it's one thousand dollars and one thousand uh, dollar times the percentage of one percent that's ten dollars now that's ten dollars plus it's safe instance if you had sixteen uh, dollars that have accrued in interest so that's ten dollars plus sixteen dollars which will equal to twenty six dollars so therefore in this particular case your minimum payment due is $26. Number three, a fixed dollar amount. So typically when you have an account or you have a credit card with an account with the bank and you have a balance that's anywhere between $25 to $1,000, what the bank will do is that they will actually have a fixed dollar amount for the amount that you owe. So generally it ranges around $25 because there's a certain threshold in which they don't charge any interest uh, or they don't charge a percentage um, to basically allow you to be able to pay a minimum balance so they don't determine it based on anything other than if you are below that particular threshold which in most cases is one thousand dollars they would then just allow you to have to pay twenty five dollars on that particular account granted you should pay as much as possible on that account so you don't have to accrue any additional interest but in this particular case, when most banks, um, when they actually have that particular agreement set up for you, it'll be only a fixed dollar amount and not based on a percentage or any interest that has accrued. Number four, remaining balance owed. So let's say for instance you have 15 to $20 that is on your credit card. Now, because you haven't passed up the threshold of $1,000 and you're under the threshold of $25, um, then what they'll do is that instead of charging you interest or even charging you a specific rate um, for that particular balance due, what they'll say is that whatever is left, that's what your minimum balance is. And therefore, once you pay it off, you're going to have a zero balance. And so some credit card issuers, you know, they don't charge interest on something that's very low, but you have to check your contractual agreement and see exactly what the terms are. All right, family. So we're very happy to have this discussion with you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at credithealing at gmail.com. And if you're ready to start healing your credit, go to www.credithealing.org. Peace.